Now the All Blacks are in camp as well ahead of that first test against England next week using the state-of-the-art New Zealand Campus of Innovation and Sport in Upper Hutt, something they plan to utilise a lot more often. And as Victor Waters explains, they're not the only ones. The All Blacks tying their future to what's become the latest game-changer in New Zealand sport. Skipper Scott Barrett symbolically attaching the All Blacks waka to the New Zealand campus of innovation and sport. We're excited by the All Blacks being here and look, that's going to be an evolving uh, beast. Uh, with Razor coming in, he's obviously got visions for how this team is going to work uh, both on and off the field. The $160 million facility in Upper Hutt, a new home for New Zealand rugby's teams in black. A place the All Blacks are planning to use between tests before relocating to where games will be played. The facilities are outstanding, so I'm looking forward to, to being here for the week. The teams that have been here before talk so highly of it, and the people in the, from the high performance level, uh, it's a game changer for us here. It's made the difference for Wellington based sports teams. NZCIS, the common denominator behind the Hurricanes and Phoenix's record seasons. It's part of the puzzle. We like to think of it a bit like the, the farm. We are the farm. Uh, we've got guys like Clark Laidlaw and Chiefy um, and all their staff who are the farmers and the athletes are the cattle on the farm. An award-winning athlete farmstead with a state-of-the-art gym, altitude and climate controlled rooms, pools, indoor and outdoor fields and more than 400 beds all on site. The fact that it exists is unique. Um, the fact that it exists in our country is very unique. There's nothing like this in Australasia, nothing like this in the Southern Hemisphere, to be dead honest. It's why NZCIS is gaining international interest. We're going to be welcoming the uh, young Matildas in their preparation for the Olympics this year. Previous to that, we've had the Swedish women's football team here for the FIFA Women's World Cup in conversation with three different NRL teams around pre-season camps. More sports could soon join, with plans to build an indoor netball and basketball court in the works. Victor Waters, One News.